So I got the new GPS unit on the uh, robotic iMark that I've been playing around with. Uh, boat had to be totally retuned with having the more accurate GPS. Uh, the mark was just really uh, twitching around a lot trying to stay on that same point and uh, caused a little bit of problems for the first uh, probably 30 minutes, 45 minutes of testing but finally found a magic parameter that really calmed it down, uh, settled it in where uh, you know it does move, probably moves uh, one diameter of itself and it's about a 17 uh, inch buoy so you know it does move around a foot and a half here and a foot and a half there around uh, the certain GPS waypoint spot or loiter spot as it's called um, but uh, it really started to behave well not jerk around a lot not spin around trying to stay on station and I'm pretty pleased with the final result at the end of today uh, now I'm painting the top that's going to be shaped like a pyramid that's going to add some windage to it and I imagine I'm going to have to tweak the tuning once again uh, to keep it pointing in the right direction and uh, on station with the extra windage uh, actually I, I think the windage is going to help me because the underbody of this mark is designed so that it backs up to the waypoint where it's supposed to be in other words the thrusters underneath are not centered they're skewed off to one side to create a little bit of drag in the water so that the other end should point downwind easier leaving the thrusters pointing into the wind so it has to make less corrections we'll see uh, happy with today's results and looking forward to putting the top on it and see what kind of problems that causes or what kind of benefits it brings on uh, all in all we used it as a gate for a little bit and I'm, uh, I'm pleased with today's results.